Second is, we always complain of all these things by night outs are there, uh, kids are not, not, not playing, kids are always on their computer, kids are always on their phone and all, what to do? It was, a, it was really a stress on all of us initially, but again, we can see the positive side of it. Probably, it's also an evolution process, it's an adaptation, a space is shrinking, population is growing. We, when we see movies of 1960s and 70s, they were big houses. When we see the, and when we go to small town, we see big houses. In the town like Mumbai, we see small houses. Why, 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 why do we have small houses and high riser? Because there is no space. When the space is not there, adaptation is happening. Na? Have we ever thought in our childhood that we can live in an area of 800 square feet? I never thought about it. 800 square feet should be our bathroom. I am very sure, even today. Maybe Bhopal, you might be having bathroom of 800 square feet. But yes, today people are living lavishly in 800 square feet. And now in 600 square feet, in Hong Kong, the average uh, uh, size of the home is 450, 500 square feet. Jo India, jo Bombay mein below poverty line bolte hai. So, we are living in the shrunk space and we have to do everything in that shrunk space. So, mobility is again going down by evolution. Initially, we were very mobile. Australopithecus, Ramapithecus, Shivapithecus, whatever Pithecus were there, highly mobile. Then civilization happened. Mobility started, we socialized, we started living together. Agriculture came, then wheel came. With the wheel, our mobility started dropping down. Nature made it. Evolution was happening because brain was trying to decrease the physical activity to preserve the energy, probably. I am trying to see the positive aspect of it, just you know, to be again to re relieve the anxiety of the population. So now, maybe all this evolution, what is happening, digital, this and that, those kids are, or next generation is going to get lesser space, right? So they have to find the solution in the space what they have. Initially, we used to have lavish homes, if, uh, lavish offices also. Now we have sharing office, you know, you might be knowing the concept of sharing office, right? People used to bring, doctors used to build hospital. Now one person makes the hospital and calls the doctor to share the cabin. All space constraints are there. So these, now the next generation is trying to do everything in that particular space, being on phone and try to, try to do everything what they can do in that limited space. It's part of evolution. Second is probably nature, we are primates, nature gave us thumb, we never used our thumb. When again in the past, when you were hunting, you were using your thumb. When you were climbing, when you were climbing the tree, you were using the thumb. But now how much time we really use our thumb? We use only our left thumb for the thumb impression. Otherwise, no thumb using. But now see the evolution. And thumb has got a, bi a bigger representation in the brain compared to any other organ. This is the biggest representation. Right? In the homunculus. But still we were not using our thumb. Now this, now generation coming up is using the thumb like this. How, what nature has actually made us for that? And they are trying to get See, within a minute she got the answer, using the thumb. So, shall we always keep on cribbing about it or we say that, okay, it's fine, probably it's evolution. But what is happening? Again, the same thing, just like metro is built up and we are suffering, we are all victimized of this evolution. Probably before also, the generations might have been vict victimized of evolution when our ancestors who were not as erect as we are, you know, they were like this, and then, then think about it, the spinal cord which was horizontal started becoming vertical. They might have suffered a lot, I am very sure about it. They, were, they might not be used, uh, used to of this. Now same thing is happening with us. I, I, I personally feel probably in the coming generations, we will be having a big head, a big brain, very long thumb. We might be having a lot of fat store other way around, it's going to come back. 
and we will be sitting just like that. Our heart will be all comfortable doing all this, all those things, and we will be just our life will be the 10 square foot of area. We will be just lying over there, and everything will be taken care of over there. That that is a possibility, but. That will come with adaptation, but today what is happening is maladaptation. We are in that transition, so we have to pay a lot of metabolic cost for it because our body is not prepared for it. So we are paying the cost to it. We are trying to get adapted to it, to that, and that all is causing the problem. Okay, this is one thing which I always try to you know speak up. So. one thing we can do is we can try to you know decrease these uses but not always crib about them because that again will create more anxiety in the children let's not always crib about that and find the solutions of this so anybody in the night working around